You doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead we spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay, no, we're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on, up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No, on your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Goblin face is keep. Dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can as well, trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you- What to do with this? Tables are expensive. And besides, this one's an Allison and Tyler original. this doing down here? Is that gum? Ugh. I guess that was probably me. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah. Still deciding what to do with those. I don't want them. I don't think I do either. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird. I'm seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Has therapy helped at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy, and she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference, which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on, honey. Come on. Like I was saying. Ugh. Gross stain is gross. Ugh. What happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Uh-huh. Well, at least I didn't leave a stain. Come on, honey, smile, like Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. Oh. 
My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I, though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. Eddie, now, take your time. He's not going to jump up and do the cha-cha. What about me? I want to clean the fish, too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Allison, when we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. That sound fair? Yes. Mm -mm. You're right. I was kind of being a brat. That's a nice face. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. You're welcome to stick your hand in there to check. Allison. Hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. We can make some pretty good money if we sell this. And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. Oh. Oh, God. I... What's that smell? <laughs> What's that smell? You hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. Aw, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? <laughs> Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Uh, ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Smell. Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunt for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild- Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. We don't really want to keep anything in here, right? Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Mary and the magpie. Hello, ancient broken down machines. That will be the future Ooh, owner's problem. I this thing into a prairie. Hey, remember volcano? your salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. Oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch, too. Oh, you're quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry, too. <laughs> Tessa really did keep us all fed. She always tried to take care of everyone. Still does, I guess.
And what do you know? More stuff. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey, Tyler. How does five little monkeys go again? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said no more monkeys jumping on the bed. <sighs> Will this ever stop feeling so, so weird? You gonna come back down to help me or what? No more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> or out of a tree. Don't say that. Mama's gonna be so mad you had to go to the hospital. She worries way too much about what people think. Everything okay up there? Yeah. When's mom coming She'll home? She'll be here soon. Is anyone hungry? No. I'm okay. Thank you. God. He scared me to death when you fell out of that tree. I cried most of the way to Tessa's house. It was kind of exciting going to the hospital, but the part after that with Marianne, that was less fun. I remember the look that Tessa gave her when she finally came home. So long, trusty bunk beds. What soft, what light through yonder. Oh, wait, it's just you. Clever, clever. There's a paper plane stuck in the ceiling light. Maybe it has a secret message from our past selves. Find something to knock it down. Hmm, I could use that ball. It's too far, forget it. I don't wanna break something. Baloney. <laughs> Guess who I found? Baloney. Alley belly baloney? Why, yes. I would love to have a tea party with you. Again. For the third time today. We should gather up all our old toys and give them to charity. What's that? I said we should give our... Hey, Tyler. Pays for horse... Okay. Let's see if I can still do this. Five bucks says you miss. Unreal. What is it? Allison's a uh, big fat loser. You're no better at insults than you were at 11. <laughs> Why mess with perfection? Hey, did you finish packing up there? Nope. There's way too much junk to sort through. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. Oops, I forgot. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? If there's anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. I really like that armchair. It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. <laughs> I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a living room. <laughs> I have faith in you. Another one for the landfill. And finally, I 
hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Earl Grey or chai? Your call. I'm fixing myself a good old cup of joe. Ah, a nice pot of wakey wakey juice. Papa needs his rocket fuel. <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. <sighs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. Come check this out. Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one? Too bad the law isn't really just. You go here. Hmm. This one. You done? All right. I think I'm done. You sure? How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. We need 
to hide. This way. <gasps> what's... What's going on? I... I don't know. Is he here? Is he really here? Uh, I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Go back to the forest! I forgot about that. We've been pretending he was there. And then... Suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison? Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Uh, Great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Ahoy, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting the cleanup on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. So listen, I, uh... I wanted to apologize for scaring you yesterday. You didn't. Your shotgun did. <laughs> yeah, uh... Well, I, uh... Anyway, I also came by to say I fired up the Google and I, uh... I did some reading. I didn't know the difference between all those words. I mean, I, you know, never been much of a reader, huh? But I think I get why what I said was wrong. I'm real sorry. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Thank you for every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. That fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20 some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. That apology was something. Come on, we need lights, so be nice to the helpful man. So, um, how's school? I graduated already, outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well. Good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. What happened to the fuse box? Oh. I forgot to put it back together after I fixed one of the fuses that kept snapping. Turns out a circuit was a little worse for the wear. I started it back on the spot. Just the way your mama would have wanted. Made her happy when things could be fixed instead of thrown out. Anyways, let me find that. Wait, wait, Sam, you have more of our keys? Yeah, the one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh, figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope, we're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning, the door's a bit temperamental. <clears throat> Haven't you been taking care of this place? <sighs> you didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Mm -hmm. Here, son, give me a try. Good. And when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. <clears throat> Damn it. No oh, shit. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Let's try this one. Take a look. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah, you can sand that part down. We could refinish the whole thing, but that's a lot of work for an old door. Hmm? Seems good. Damn fool. Everything okay? You, uh... You two look like you got this all in hand, so, um... What was that about? What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap? Be my guest, but it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Fred a rep. What's that? Wolf tea. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-boy. Hey there, little buddy. If we end up living together, you should know my house has a no spiders rule. Well, in my house, we don't kill them. Ugh. You can take them outside then. Oh. I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. Hey, that's not cool. Sam has a serious problem. Sorry. It was a low blow. He really freaked out when he saw that gun rack. Uh, remind me to take it down later. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. I wonder what she planned to make with that. Maybe a... She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Allison, do you know who this is? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. Come on, it's gonna get infected. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you 
do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There, by the house. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh, yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory is a tricky thing. I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? I don't know. I have no idea. We shouldn't jump to any conclusions. Look, I know he took care of you. But that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne. Even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Get out. Get out. I know you were just doing your job, but I need you to go before you get in trouble. Please, just get out of here. All right. Say Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Oh, it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec.
Okay, Gina. What's going on? Hi, Han. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Han, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. Not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Do it. Yeah? Yep. Great. I'll set it all up and uh, send you the details. Later, hon. Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice-cold beers when we reached the summit. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The Bears? Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? Well, we have an interested buyer. Tina's gonna show him the house day after tomorrow. Oh, great. Apparently he'd be paying cash, but he's just in town for a few days, so... I mean, we're not signing anything in blood. It's just a showing. I know. Look, we both need this money. And it'll take at least a few weeks, right? There's plenty of time to figure out all this Marianne stuff. It's fine. You did it. It's done. Let's move on. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh, yeah? Because you sure sounded like he it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. You seem pretty eager to ditch all those friends and family, Allison. Apparently a cash offer is all it takes. I'm ready to move on. But that doesn't mean I want to burn every bridge on my way out. Are you planning to sulk all day? I don't know. We'll find out. Jesus. I feel like we're eight again. Come on, Tyler, help me out here. Why do you shut people out like this? You're literally talking inside my head. Not sure how I could shut you out even if I tried. You know what I mean, Ty. Okay, now you're the star, and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. You were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? 
No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. Hey, I really am sorry I gave Tina an answer without talking to you first. It's okay. You probably made the right call. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come, but maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. Can't believe the old cannery is still in business. Plenty more fish in the sea. For now. Can't believe the old cannery is still in business. Plenty more fish in the sea. For now. Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. You claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. <clears throat> All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? Uh, what I wanted to do back then, <clears throat> but I didn't have the guts. <clears throat> there, looking better already. You're right. Way better. <clears throat> 